Hey guys and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware and today I have speakers. Let's swap these into the framework laptop and see are they any better. Okay, so real quick for those of you that don't know, this is the Framework laptop. This thing is awesome in that it is completely user serviceable. You can go to Framework's website, buy any part in the laptop that breaks, needs replaced, or even possibly upgraded. So this is one of the original uh, Framework laptops. This is the 11th gen Intel one. Um, I've already replaced the hinge to put the better hinge on this thing. So today we are swapping in the new 80 decibel speaker set because one of my major complaints to this laptop is just that these bottom firing speakers are really just not very loud. So hopefully the new speakers, while I'm sure still not great, will be a step up for me because frankly i enjoy listening to my laptop speakers over earbuds not a huge earbud guy so uh, having a better set of speakers hopefully solves that issue so they're 20 dollars. actually they're 19 dollars plus shipping handling taxes all that jazz so i think i ended up paying like 25 dollars by the time they were actually at my door let's get these things installed into the framework laptop and then just compare some sounds now, just like on most framework repairs or upgrades, the process is actually quite simple. There are five screws on the underside of the framework laptop that you just have to, well, unscrew. And then you have to just open the laptop back up and the keyboard is magnetically attached in addition to those screws. There's one ribbon cable to remove with the keyboard. And then the speakers are super easy to get out because they're just fit in with like this friction mount with sort of a rubber gasket type friction mount. So anyways, you just need some sort of spudger or tool to pry them up. The cable has a really simple routing channel. You have to sort of delicately pull the old cable out, which granted being that it's an old cable, you could actually just cut it if you're not reusing the speakers for anything. I didn't go that route. I just delicately uh, pulled the cable through the different channels. And then there are a couple of stickers you have to peel up a little bit to get the cable for the speakers out. Uh, the connector itself is somewhat delicate, so do be careful with that. But installation of the new speakers is the same exact thing, just in the reverse order. So very, very simple process for this upgrade. At 32.1 dBA, this is not the quietest room or the best room to be doing any kind of sound testing, but it's what I'm working with. So here's what these speakers sound like before the swap. And now after the swap. So at the end of the day, the difference between the original speakers and the new speakers on paper doesn't really look that big at 81.2 to something like 84.6 decibels. But what you need to understand is measuring decibels is not something that is linear. It is exponential. So when you talk about going from just 81-ish decibels to 84 decibels, you're actually seeing a pretty big jump in the perceived loudness of a particular sound. So even though on paper it doesn't look like a huge jump, they are noticeably, that is the new speakers, are noticeably louder. So those speakers are fine. Like they are an upgrade. They are noticeably louder in person than the originals. And that's why I like this laptop. This laptop is frankly, the best on the market at almost nothing like it has really good io but it's not necessarily the best laptop with io it's not the best screen not the best battery life definitely not the best speakers but what i like about this laptop is i bought into a platform when i bought this thing so now i can make these incremental upgrades for uh, not that much money. We're talking about a uh, the, the old speaker here. I mean, uh, $19 plus shipping, handling, taxes, all that for a replacement. So if you ever had your speakers just die on you or you wanted to upgrade them, 
there is a route to do that and it works pretty well. So for those of you out there that do own a framework laptop, especially if you own the original like first gen framework laptop, what have you changed about it since owning it? Have you changed your IO around a lot? Have you made upgrades? Have you done the hinge upgrade, the speaker upgrade? any of those types of things let us know in the comments down below otherwise youtube's gonna send you some more videos from my channel for you to watch i'm shane with hoosier hardware and i'll see you all in the next video